This is Travis Holmes with your Viking report for the week of September 13th through the 19th. The volleyball team continued its winning ways on Saturday night in a straight set victory at UIC in their Horizon League opener. The win extends their program record start to 10-0. Amy Benz led the way with 13 kills for the Vikings as they outscored the Flames by a total of 24 points in the match. Volleyball will host Milwaukee on Friday and Green Bay on Saturday. The women's soccer team had a tough weekend in Washington State, losing to both the University of Washington 5-1 and Seattle University 3-0. The only goal of the trip came from senior Natalie Daniels. The Olympia native playing in front of family and friends scored her team-leading seventh goal of the season in the Washington match. The Vikings return home to battle Green Bay Friday night and Milwaukee Sunday afternoon at Krenzler Field. The men's soccer team extended their home unbeaten streak to 16 games on Sunday in defeating IPFW 1-0. The Vikings scored in the 10th minute on a penalty kick by Manu Kandi. The lead was challenged throughout the second half, but goalie Brad Stuver made several clutch saves, including one on this penalty kick by Max Talut. Here comes Talut. Saved by Stuver! Great guess by Stuver right on the spot. And the Vikings hold on to their 1-0 lead. What a play! The win was preceded by a loss to SIU Edwardsville on Friday evening. The Vikings travel to Chicago to open Horizon League play this weekend at UIC on Friday night and Loyola on Sunday afternoon. The cross-country team placed 8th of 12 teams at the Cedarville Friendship Invitational this weekend. The event, held at the Elvin R. King Cross Country Course, saw Allison Crane post the best Vikings time for the third time in three events this season. Crane finished 15th with a time of 19.31 and was followed closely by teammate Brittany Elmlinger with a time of 1939. The Vikings run at the Ohio Invitational in Athens on Saturday. The men's golf team finished 14th of 15 teams at the Marshall Invitational in Huntington. Kent Monas played very well at the tournament with rounds of 70, 69, and 69 to shoot a team best 208. There are no tournaments for the men's or women's team ahead this week. And finally, both tennis teams took to the court for the first time this fall. On the men's side, Yannick Gosens and John Haley won their singles flights, while Gosens and Chris Kleepatz finished fourth in their doubles flight at the Hoosier Invitational in Bloomington, Indiana. The men head to Muncie, Indiana and Ball State University this weekend. And on the women's side, Mindy Liu won her singles flight, in addition to Alex Bush and Sandup Bielon winning their doubles flight at the BG Invitational in Bowling Green. Kara Sherwood, Nicole Janik, and Alex Bush each finished second in their flights to wrap up the tournament for the Vikings. The women head to East Lansing in the Michigan State Invitational this weekend. I'm Travis Holmes with your Vikings report reminding you to stay tuned to CSUVikings.com.